Hello, everybody. I'm Mr. Essery. And I'm Mrs. Essery. Today, we're going to teach you guys how to be spies. We're going to make some invisible ink so that you can leave secret messages for people. And that way you don't have to let your parents see or your siblings see or anyone you don't want to see, see. So the things you'll need for this experiment are some of the common household things that you might use. One of the first juices we're, or juices we're going to talk about is lemon juice. So why do we use lemon juice, Curtis? Lemon juice is very acidic and it reacts well with what we're trying to do here. Yeah, so it's going to react with the paper when you write on it and make it easy to see whenever you add heat. Also going to use um, milk. Let's see here, just regular old milk. It needs to be at least 2% milk. <laughs> so if it's milk, it's not going to have enough fat to actually work as an invisible ink. Also, we're going to be using vinegar, also very acidic, something else that we'll be able to use, just like lemon juice. And then another thing we're going to use is we're going to be using grape juice, but any kind of fruit juice should work, correct? Yes, any kind of fruit juice, because the grape juice is acidic, and it's going to react with our baking soda and water mixture, which I have mixed right here, which is equal parts baking soda and water. So I use two tablespoons. Of baking soda and two tablespoons of water. Now you're not going to need all of that at the same time. These are a bunch of different ways we're going to show you, but the thing that you're definitely going to need are either Q-tips or toothpicks. We're going to try writing with both and see how they work. Mm -hmm. You also need a spoon to stir your baking soda and water mixture and a measuring spoon. This is a one tablespoon measuring spoon measure out the baking soda and water to make sure that they're both equal parts. So we're going to start writing, see what happens? Sure thing. All right. Let's go ahead and start with the milk. Half of your left paper, we're going to use four different ways of doing this. And we're going to try writing with Q-tip and writing with a toothpick. and see which one we think works better, okay? So I'm going to start. I'm going to dip Q-tip in the milk. And just going to draw on the paper. Okay. You may need to dip it both sides, depending. I wrote the milk. Now you can kind of see where it's a little bit wet on the paper, uh, especially depending on the light. Maybe you can, maybe you can't. Um, but it should show up a lot better once we actually, you know, try and reveal it. Also, going to do it with a toothpick. Again, same. Dip it in the milk. Now, toothpick will leave a thinner message because obviously the tip of the toothpick is much smaller than the tip of the um, toothpick. But, yeah, but we'll see how it goes. Now, one problem with writing visible ink, is I can't tell if it's written right or not. It could be all over the place. We'll find out a little bit. But you can see I wrote with milk on both sides, both up and down the paper. Can't see anything. All right. So we're going to wait for that to dry. But then to reveal the milk ink, that's when you're going to be using either a sandpaper or I have a nail file because I'm not the type of person who has sandpaper in the house. And a pencil. You really want the lead of the pencil. A wooden pencil might work a little bit better for this purposes, but this is what we have. Yeah. <laughs> so our next invisible ink, we're going to try vinegar. vinegar. Awesome. So I went ahead and poured some vinegar in this little cup that I labeled vinegar. Take a Q-tip. Dip it in there. And right. Now, this is reacting already with the paper. So you can kind of see, and maybe depending on the lighting, what I wrote there. Now, hopefully, if you let it dry long enough, you won't be able to see anything. So and you'll be, that way you can see what you wrote when you first start writing. But after a while, it should fade and go away and be truly, you know, impossible to see what it is until you, we show you how to reveal it. Now, same thing. I'm going to do fit, dip it in the finger, and... Right, super tight. 
top secret message that I don't want anybody to see. Mm. He's a true spy. Exactly how James Bond did it. All right. What's the next one we're going to do? So the next one we're testing is another acid. You could use lemon juice or vinegar, and they're going to work the same way. So this is lemon juice. Go ahead. Write it. I don't know how I'm the one that got stuck writing. I'm the one with the absolute worst handwriting. But I'm the one explaining. So lemon juice and vinegar are both relatively weak acids, but when they write when they're put on the paper, it starts to degrade the paper a little bit, and a little bit of the acid is left on the paper. So later on, when we want to reveal this message, all we have to do is heat up our paper, and the acid should burn first, causing the paper to turn brown where your message was written. Even though correctly that can work. Also we're trying to, you know, have you not burned your homes so again, go down. Again, because you know it's already acidic, it's already you know wet on the paper, you can probably kind of see, especially with the Q-tip, how much thicker it is. But I wrote it both places with the Q-tip. All right, last one. I'm gonna try out baking soda and grape juice. So in order to do the baking soda, you have to first make your baking soda water mixture. So that's where your tablespoon measure comes in and your baking soda. So you want to scoop out two tablespoons of baking soda. Just like so. Okay. Tablespoons of baking soda in here. And then what's the next thing we need to do? Then we're going to add some water. So this is just normal tap water. And again, I'm using two tablespoons. We need to stir this up, Annie? Yes. So we want to make sure it's nice and mixed. You want to do the honors? All right, I can do that. So just stirring it up, kind of, you know, take at first when you have the baking soda in there with the water. Um, and then eventually turns into this milky kind of substance. And then, I believe we write with it just the same as we did the other things, right? Yep. All right. I think pretty nice and even. Here is your. Thank you. All right. Same thing right here. Let's see. I like to write half of it with one side, half of it with another, just to make sure that. All right, and now the toothpick. Other side. All right, so now we've written our super top secret message that no one is allowed to see. How are we going to reveal this? That's one of the ways you want to reveal the different types of ink. But the first thing is first you got to let it dry completely. Um, so it's going to take a little while. So earlier, we made our own little test sheet here. We just used Q-tips. But you can see it's nice and dry, kind of harder to read. Where the acid is, you can tell it's still a little degraded in the paper. But if you have a thicker paper, it might not look so yeah. rough. Yeah. So construction paper or something would probably work really well with this, especially like a white construction paper, something that's a bit, just a tad bit thicker. I mean, it'll work with anything. You can't really quite tell anything that's on here. I'm um, just looking at it. But just so you know, thicker paper works good. Mm -hmm. Our milk is the reason why this is invisible ink works is because the graphite in your lead pencil is going to be attracted to the fat in the milk, which is why we need a 2% or whole milk. So if you're using, I'm using a nail file, but you can also use sandpaper and you're going to just scrape to try and get graphite. A little bit so you can see what she's doing here. Thank you. Onto your paper. So it's kind of making a dust. You may not be able to see it with the camera we have, but it's kind of making a dust that forms over the paper this way. 
and again, this is where a wooden pencil probably works a little better, especially with sandpaper. You can actually like get the main part of lead because the when you get a mechanical pencil, the lead gets so thin that it's breaking. Yeah, it breaks on it. So it takes a, quite a little bit to get this going. Yeah. So maybe, you know, try to use thinner pieces. If you have a wooden pencil, that's great. Again, sandpaper works great. Anything that's kind of rough like this. I mean, you're more likely to have a nail file in your house, though, depending on. You are. <laughs> I don't do a lot of construction work. Sandpaper is not really something that I have. It does take a little bit to get going, to get a good bit. Also, if you choose to use a nail file, I would, if it's not your own personal nail file, I'd ask permission first. Otherwise, if you borrow it without permission and they get it and all of a sudden it's just covered in lead and they have no idea why it's so dirty, then you may get a little bit in trouble. Yeah, your mom or sister might get mad at you if it's your nail file. So, you can tell, there is a lot of dust all over the paper. Now, what's the next thing we need to do? I cut this off, so I'm going to use the cut my nail tip. I'm just rubbing it into the paper. And as you can see, our message is starting to show up a little bit. Yeah. Which I'm pleasantly surprised because you wouldn't test this first. All right, so as you can see, we'll go back up here. Oh, whoops. I just made my keyboard really nice. <laughs> but you can see where it was nothing. You can now see your message, hashtag gear up. Super top secret. No one could read that. Um, but it worked really well. So it was just a bunch of dust on the page. Um, get the Q-tip, wipe it up, and the lead sticks to where the milk was. Sorry. All right, now, the next thing, vinegar, vinegar and lemon juice are revealed the exact same way, correct? Yes. All right. So <clears throat> the goal here is to heat up the paper, and they say you can use a hair dryer, which is what we're going to use, or you can put it in the oven. If you turn your oven up to 300 degrees Fahrenheit and bake this for 5, 10 minutes, then it should burn the acid on the page where your secret message is written and not the paper. You can also, if you want to hold it up against the light bulb um, for a little bit of time, be careful. You don't like want to touch the light bulb directly and hurt yourself. Or a candle. But again, you don't want to get this too close to a candle because you don't want it to catch fire. So we're going to use a hair dryer for this time, all right? I'm put it on the right now. I'll hold the paper for me too. They take off. So far, nothing's really showing up there just yet. So it looks like the milk is the one that's going to be working the best so far for us. Mm -hmm. But we'll try it again a little bit with some of the other ones. Because um, for some reason, this isn't quite working the way we thought it would. But it's no big deal. That's what we're doing here. We're experimenting. And then the last one here is baking soda and grape juice. Let's go ahead and give that one a go before we go back to the vinegar and lemon juice. How's this work? The baking soda is a, the baking soda and water mixture is very basic, and our grape juice here is acidic, so they should react, and when they react, we should see a color change on the paper where the base was. So again, I'm going to lower this down a little bit so you can see if this works or not. And that one looks to be working. Again, you can use a hair 
that is acidic is a properly used by lemon juice, and this would work just the same. So one thing I already noticed is it starts out really thick and easier to see, and then as you move on, it gets a little bit more faded. Uh, one is you don't want to use too much of the liquid, otherwise it's going to ruin the paper and be hard to see the paper anyway. But also, whenever remember I would write half the message with Q-tip and then go back and dip it again. You want to make sure that you keep going back with it to make sure that it stays nice and thick. So again, it worked. The hidden message that wasn't there before is revealed. That's what it is based on the first message. Um, hashtag gear up. But you also don't want to get the paper too wet, otherwise you won't be able to read it at all. And then also it's, um, you want to make sure that you start with, always go back and make sure you have enough of whatever you're using, milk, baking soda, make sure vinegar when you go back and write. Okay? Do you want to start putting this in the oven and see if we can't make our vinegar and lemon juice shower? Please? We're going to try that. So we're going to pause the video right here. We're going to put this in the oven and we're going to come back and see how baking it worked. All right? All right, guys, we are back to see if baking the paper worked. That's right, what's the verdict? Um, it does not look like it worked too much. I'll let you guys be the judge. But for the lemon juice, you actually, and it's hard to show with this kind of camera again, but you actually can see the message a little bit. It turned out yellow. Imagine that. Yeah. Just a tiny little bit. Definitely, I would say the milk was our 100% the best one. Yes. And the Soda and vinegar, or baking soda and grape juice worked pretty well too. It worked very well. And it looks a little weird now because it got baked in the oven. So now there's grape juice and baking soda baked in the oven. Yeah. So that's why it's weirdly discolored. But I think that if you want to be the best spy using the baking soda and grape juice or the milk is probably the best one. Mm -hmm. What else can we do with acids and bases? Yeah, just a little bit more fun with acid. It'll actually take a little while to do, but the acid that is in baking soda, or is that, that's in vinegar, sorry, I misspoke. The acid that's in vinegar, says 4% acidity, can actually dissolve an eggshell. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill up a jar, and this is just a pickle jar that I emptied today. Any jar will do. Any jar will do, or cup. We're gonna fill that up with some vinegar. I'll try to open this without spilling it on myself. Let me do it. Oh, I got it. All right, there we go. A strong, independent woman. All right, so I'm just pouring vinegar into the pickle jar. Nothing smells better than pickle juice and vinegar mixed together. I'll tell you that right now. This is mostly vinegar. Well. <laughs> and then I'm just going to put my egg in there and let it sit, sit overnight. So you'll have to check back next week to see what our egg looks like after sitting in our vinegar. Food. All right, so that's all that we have for today. We taught you how to be a spy today. Mm -hmm. um, so again, check back next week to check on that egg and see what other cool science things we get to do. Mr. Essery? And Mrs. Essery. Bye. Bye.